Hey guys, welcome back to Rod Doing Stuff. We're out on the patio again today. Today we're going to smoke up a turkey. And this is about a 12 pound turkey. I like the 12 pound ones to smoke. Today we're going to spatchcock it. We're going to inject it with some of this injectable butter. And we're going to put some of this Montreal chicken seasoning on it, even though it's turkey. Now in my, in my rub, I also mix two or three tablespoons of baking powder. That helps to crisp up this skin and make it a nice crispy bird. We are going to spatchcock this bird today and uh, I'll show you how I do that. Okay guys, I'm going to show you the easiest way I've found to spatchcock a bird. you got to get you some of these. Nice tin snips. Okay, and I'll show you why. You take a knife and you try to cut this backbone out. You just might be here all day. Or a while and you'll just have a good exercise in dulling your knife for the most part this thing you just go right up the side of this backbone here you can see it just goes right through that like butter this thing's still a little frozen back there which I'm kind of surprised because it's been in the fridge for about a week but it'll be all right so then this side's a little more tricky because I got to use my other hand. Just like that, and get that out of there. Okay. Yeah, we still got some good ice in there. Like I say, I'm pretty surprised because that thing's been sitting in the fridge for six seven days so anyway then we're just going to turn it over you want to kind of just crack that down so it lays out good and flat just like that okay and that's all there is to getting that backbone out of there now i'm going to show you what we're going to do next here we're going to get some injection on this thing. So I'm using this uh, Tony Satchery's injectable Creole style butter. I really like this in turkeys. Probably ought to shake that up a bit first. You can see all the spices down there on the bottom. So just take that comes with this cheap little injector you can use your own if you want I'm not worried about contaminating this because I'll probably use close to all of it what you want to do is just go in there make one hole move it around like so you just want to do it till that thing won't take any more and before you start you want to so before I started this in the house I got this out of the package it had one of those cheap tender timers in it I threw that away took all the stuff out of the inside the neck and all that good stuff and then you're ready to inject it oh you can see those just plump up like so I'll do the same thing to this leg now what you want to do is you want to buy I bought this turkey after Thanksgiving you get them on sale I only paid nine dollars for this bird which is a pretty good deal I want to get some back in this way same thing Oh, I think it's side two. Go back in that same hole. There we go. And so you got the legs, got the breast. You want to get down in here, get these thighs. This is going to make this bird super moist, super flavorful. It's going to be tasty. I can't wait. Usually I brine them. This is a pre-brine bird. Usually I'll even pre -brine. I've always brined them, but I I'm going to try it this time. This says it's pre-brined. I've always brined pre-brined birds. 
but I'm going to try it this time without brining it and see if I like it or if it even makes any difference to brine it. I want to know if I'm just wasting my time. Got to shoot these wings full. Look at those plump up. All right, let's get this other wing. shoot some more in those breasts if they'll if they'll have it down in that same hole because I don't think we can get too much in there we're about there get some more in this one man that thing look at it just plumped up what we want to see. I'm going to put some more over here. Just wherever you think it needs it. Probably could go this way and that way. I don't think I've done that. Same thing in this one. Okay. Used almost all of that. Just a little teeny bit left in there. But it's not really holding anymore. So that's the point you want to get it to. Next thing we're gonna do, duck fat. Now what the duck fat does is it helps to crisp up this skin, helps our rub to stick to that thing. If you've never used the duck fat before, give it a try. It really helps with getting your skin nice and crispy. There's two tricks I use to get my skin crispy on my birds. One's the duck fat. The other one is I've got my Montreal chicken seasoning here and I've mixed a couple tablespoons of cornstarch in with that two to three and that helps that skin to dry out helps it to crisp up that's a good little trick to get crispy skin on your bird and then what we're gonna do after we get this seasoned up is we're just gonna let this thing sit in the fridge for a couple hours and that's gonna help that skin to dry out as well and then we'll get it on the smoker. You just season that up how you like it. You can use whatever seasoning you like. It doesn't really matter. Um, the seasoning, for the most part, doesn't really even penetrate the skin a whole lot, but does give a little flavor on the skin when you get that so looks like I missed that leg a little bit I better get that Put just a little more on there hit these spots I got a little light on okay and that's it we're gonna let this sit like I said dry out a bit then we're gonna get it over on the smoker all right so we've let our turkey sit for a couple hours we're gonna get it on the smoke we're gonna smoke this at 275 today at the end we'll probably kick the temperature up to crisp up that skin usually what I like to do is I'm gonna put this in here this way I put some of my breasts up here towards the heat more so it'll take a little longer to get done we're just gonna put that in there just like that and uh, I'm used to that ice coming out of this thing. We're going to let it smoke. You want to get it laid out kind of how you want it to look because that's how it'll be. And uh, we're going to shut the lid on this thing before we lose any more heat. And we're just going to let it smoke away. Okay, guys, so we got our turkey put on the smoker here. Now I'm going to get my probe put in. I'm going to stick that thing in right there thickest part of the breast when that gets to 160 then we'll start probing the rest of this and uh, 160 165 it'll be done and ready to rest so we're going to close the lid on this and not lose any more heat and let her finish smoking we'll be back in a couple hours to check on it all 
All right, guys, so we've hit 145 degrees. We've been on here about two and a half hours. It's looking good. Skin starting to crisp up nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this back down. I'm gonna turn our smoker up to 325 degrees and I'm gonna finish it there for the last uh, 25 degrees or so. Is that 25 degrees? Yeah, 20 degrees. Sometimes it's hard. Anyway, so we're going to let this finish at 325 for the last 20 degrees. That way it'll help crisp up that skin a little more. guys this turkey is done it's at 165 we're gonna pull it off here look at that it's looking good we're gonna get it inside we're gonna tend it with some aluminum foil let it sit for about 20 minutes and it'll be ready to eat all right guys so we've had this turkey covered resting for about 20 minutes inside we're gonna go ahead and get this pulled off cut up Let's see what we got get these pine quarters off first man that thing is just falling apart it up. Oh, let her get me some of that. Oh wow. That's impressive guys. For a turkey that wasn't brined, well pre-brined, brined from the store. Mm. That is good, there's nothing wrong with that. You want a quick, easy way to do a good turkey? This is the way to do it. Took about four hours to cook. Excellent flavor, so juicy. There's juice all over this thing, look at this. You see that? So good. I'm gonna take this in, I'm gonna get it sliced up, and we're gonna eat some dinner. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. It's free, and we'll see you on the next one.